Uh, new bands that interest me? Hmm. I like all the new groups that are into the computer music. You know, basically, not any one in particular. I just like all of them, because I think, uh, and, and some of the, uh, what do you call it, new wave? <laughs> yeah, I like that uh, a lot. But I, uh, you know, I don't think it's n a new wave. I think it's a continuation of something that's always been there. And it's, uh, you know, I, I like that kind of music. I don't like to listen to California soft rock music. Only my own California soft rock music. That's all I can handle now. I've heard too much of it. I don't do that much of it in my set. And I put it at the first part, and then we just pass by that and leave it behind where it was. We're not still doing that. So we don't, uh, don't want to get lost back there like so many others. Mm -hmm. I enjoy the music that's happening today, The Clash. I enjoy uh, these uh, new groups. I don't know how good they are live because I haven't seen them, but I like to listen to the Pretenders. I like to listen. They're not so new, but I like to listen to uh, Flock of Seagulls and what's that group, uh, Human League. They got this thing out with it. All that stuff with the drum computers and the uh, synthetic things is what I like. You know, I think a human emotion and selling a sad personal story and all of these things is all, uh, it, it's valid, but it's been done so much that who cares, you know? I mean, it's like Perry Como or something now. Mm -hmm. It's like Frank Sinatra. It's way back there now. Now people are uh, living on digital time. They need to hear something perfect all the time or they don't feel reassured everything's okay. Like when you get in the elevator and go up and down and all the numbers go by, Everybody knows where they're going, and the drum beats today, the computer drum beats, everyone is right on the money. Everybody feels good. It's reassuring. I like that. It's a new kind of, of rock and roll. It's uh, so synthetic and anti-feeling that, that it has a lot of feeling. It has feeling because it's anti-feeling. It doesn't want to be emotional. So it is emotional because it doesn't want to be emotional. Like a person who won't cry. You know that they're crying inside. You look at them and they have a stone face. They're looking at you. They would never cry. You feel more emotion from that person than you do from the person who's talking all the time. Because, so I think this new music is more, is, is emotional. It's very emotional because it's so cold. Yeah. There's a reason for it being like that. Because of the world the way it is today. That's why the music is like this, I think. I don't know, but I think so. <laughs> I have my synthesizers and, and my, my uh, computers, and I'm not lonely. I mean, that's fine. It's okay. I would have liked to have seen Devo at Woodstock. That would have been much, you know, like, I would have liked to have seen uh, The Who, and then, you know, what's that guy's name? He plays real... <laughs> The guy's really fast, I mean, anyway. I don't know what his name was. But I mean, then Devo, you know, with the glasses and the whole thing. And then, uh, you know, Human League. Ben Hendrix. You know, I would have liked to have seen it like that and see what would have happened. I think it would have been good to watch, you know. From Bill Haley to The Clash. I mean, uh, it's all music. It doesn't matter. A bunch of hippies smoking grass or a bunch of uh, punks sticking, uh, uh, you know, stuff in their ears or painting their hair blue. Go ahead, paint it blue. I don't care. 